welcome back. I'm I'm Mike Shoutwriter and we'll be talking about the Winter Wonderland today. But first, we'll quickly cover a few things. Now, if, now if we now in basically Q will be in you know the Earth based Dark or Chronos, depending on which faction you belong to, and also New Romans. But you can also just put it your journal and click join here. But we'll be taking it walk in and have a quick chat with Q first. He's got something fun to touch it was first. And you can see him Q sitting down here, he'll be sitting in near the fight arena on the Klingon side. Oh Q I Pelode of Honor. How you say it? I find mortal all day so perplexing. I suppose you find ways to liven up your dewy, dewy existence, but really, trees covered in barbels, mostly tag. How can it be a silent night if you won't, don't, won't stop singing? How do you enjoy playing play game, play games? Embracing chill of winter's day. As well as a gift to my favourite admiral, I create a window and land for your revels. Are you ready to go? Just say the word. Are you powerful as I say? <laughs> and we get turned into a monster. Are you can even see a fear. And the after she's she's even got got a monster. And you see trots around, but she will change. He changes back, but it's not the only thing Q's got for us to do in a uh, space dock. Now, our our duty officer system. Offers ability to obtain Q specific Q winter one of the materials, <laughs> and I'm turning this off now. And there is, this, this is not all the place. This is quite various other places around the, beyond off of this off of the the old, not just here in uh, space talk, but <laughs> better head back to Q and see. And really, Q. We'll turn back to normal. And we can uh, we, we can ask Q to visit his winter wonderland. Okay, are you really ready to feel the winter wonderland? We're not yet. Never mind. I feel that you you may have a frail to body and. A mind to understand the whole moment have come up for you. Just just so be it. <laughs> of course, it, this is just a slight what, reminder that everyone must give up with the tutorial and an accepted allegiance to to win, Q's Winter Wonderland before you can visit Q's Winter Wonderland. Most of the time, you don't even get a chance to visit Q until, the, until this point, except for the Federation and Click on tutorials, but uh, you'll be pretty much very close to the end of the tutorial at that point. <laughs> Let's go. Well, welcome to Q's Winter Wonderland. And, well, that look, there is a hologram of the ship we're trying to get. Now this, leave it not. As I feel like bringing out the song isn't the thing we're coming here to do. Now, <clears throat> we've got a few things to cover right now. Now, I covered the, covered the few things. Now we need to cover really what we're going to be doing. So, currently the snowball fight is currently running at the moment, and up here is the winter event schedule, similar to what the Klingon. The dark the rising event was happen, happening earlier this year. Again, if you want to return home, you can always ask Q, and you can do various other things around here. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of people to talk to. Uh, I'll quickly run through the, uh, the pagoda area. This here is a our tailor, and Collects it first outfits. I'll be and 
I hold it out there to bend it and with his friend, with his uh, own friend. Now, you oh. is a genius and so handsome. Which <laughs> lets you buy any, quite a few things. Now, we, I will point out that to collect these materials, I'll be you'll need to complete events or do duty officer missions. Uh, such as the ones I've shown you in, in the past. Now, I strong if you're going to be here for if you're he, here in the early de December, I strongly gra recommend grabbing some winter wonderland gear. I don't recommend any of these. I'm happy to, you rec I recommend, but be aware well, that uh, while these are uh, modified, uh, basically. Q versions the uh, pieces of gear that we've got in the uh, in the Epos. <laughs> it, it, Henley and Friendly Epos. Yep, sorry, Epos. Those by uh, by our Epo lady. We do. I do strongly recommend pick it, try to pick up one of these these weapons. It will be purely for the fact that. You'll be using these for most of the events, including the current snowball event. Now I don't have any, have so you do need to. But if you do, I'm missing some. If you want to earn, take a part of these events and not require, don't have any items of yourself at the moment. You will be able to go outside and pick up a few uh, snowballs, although they're which is in this pile here and you can then use them to throw them, throw them around so if I take off my <laughs> uh, they used to be uh, uh, they, there they are and you see now I have, I have 15 of them and collecting a few more will be uh, pretty easy well, I don't need to just go to 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 what's having it. I've got as an existing player, I can take part in all those other stuff. Up. You can quite easily do various other stuff, and of course, you can always use snowmen and do various other accolades-based stuff around here, and those snowballs is a bit of fun. But yes, uh, okay. This Apple lady is, is a is a person who you Epos. need to and friendly Epos. is someone you need to speak to after the competitive co after completing the competitive races. She's very good at doing that. Uh, she'll help you for that. But. but if you need to pick up something from uh, your bank, bank or account bank you can always or various other stuff you can always visit queues I have winter items for a bargain queues queue here in the center and he'll give great you grant you access to 90% of your your gear your, your banks and the exchange and the your mailbox now I just so happen to have the entire a Collected last year a big pile of stuff, so I can actually run this entire thing without needing to buy my weapon, buy some gear without needing to worry too much about it. And do you remind people about what we are winning? <laughs> that, that in the Winter Wonderland, there are six events. The fastest game on ice, which is done by talking to this green over here and then talking to that green over there I will complete it here at some point in this video and I do recommend using that one for a early play uh, for early players Peace assimilated snowmen are approaching the gate to the winter wonderland they will arrive in one minute and that is a good enough reason to do, move on to the pick up some 
We could buy a weapon or two. Now that we're geared up, we'll be going towards the Taz of Ice area. Now many of these places have their own, their own labelled labelled uh, area to be in. As you can see, Ted of Ice is pretty much Ted of Ice. And Ted of Ice is, will, is, is basically somewhat like a tower defence game. And as you can see here, there basically are four lanes and you've got, got basically make sure not take down the everyone and everything as you, as you can. But you can't use your standard weapon from the main game. <laughs> and you've got to use the Q only uh, Q Winter Wonderland gear. Uh, if these places Stellar act coming, like Crimson Cube, Gold Sphere, and I've got a, got a little tower that helps destroy stuff, but you've got to destroy it, take down the is that bogified snowmen. Snowmen yes. are coming down blue lozenge lane. Uh, each lane has got colour and a shape, so like diamond, Crimson Cube. Gold Sphere and the Blue Lodging, lodging Lane, and that's Blue Lodging Lane looks like it's been been ignored for like a while, and it's pretty much cl cleared out. To, they've got to the end, so a lot of people are covering the going down the uh, road. And if you do get injured, you basically get frozen still stiff for a few seconds, unable to move. And you can see there's Klingon characters as well as fellow Federation characters. I think she's Orion there, but tied to the Klingon Empire. Snowmen are coming down all four lanes. And you can repair these towers if you can get close enough to repair it in time, but. The idea is to not get let like, the uh, these uh, assimilated snowmen to reach the um, snowmen are coming down all final lanes. area. I'm going to move, uh, skip ahead, and show it towards the end of it. The light. And here we are approaching wave ten. And this time we're we'll fighting the Bog Queen, or Bog Snow Queen. In a too. Wait, let's see, it gets a bit more cra crazy, and we have lit a few through, but not that many. And there's the Bog Queen on the land. <laughs> Yes, this takes full ten minutes to do this, so let's be why cut it out. Snowmen are coming down Crimson Cube Lane. And it will be done. Well done, but you didn't know the bug will be back and. You can see some messages up the center of the screen. It says we've done the daily, and you can see in the bottom corner that we've got the daily progress. Now, if I hit view my journal, and you can see here that I've completed my, for the, completed my daily progress for the ship, and it's now two out of ten because this is taken on the second day of the event. So, and you can always. Buy buy lobby crystals to buy lobby crystals to regain to get to the load. But I haven't got any lobby crystals on me, so I can't use that. But next up, we'll be moving on to a di different area, back to the water centre, and this one will be the Cramperia. Yeah. 
Crab Beery has been spotted. He's headed towards the lake. Glorious! I could teleport you there, but what could one such as you do against him? Can you chase him away over and over again until he gives up? I'll wager you can't save any other gingerbread book he has taken. Still, it might be fun to watch him try. You might make him angry enough to eat you. Ah, <laughs> very funny. Right, uh, you, again, the, this is another one where you need to pick up snowballs or wintry weapons, which we picked up before, so we'll be taking them along with you. And since he was, since Campray is hanging around the lake area, but in this case, but the person will always transport us close to where the Campray currently is, but he will this run around and appear anywhere on the map. The lake area is a area we'll visit again later. Uh, and 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 will be part of a uh, big thing later, but we'll be company following the all the players following the Crampier around. It's shown on the map on the uh, mini map above uh, where the Crampier will be hanging around, and the idea is to basically defeat him, like as you can see here. And his and his touch elves will uh, hinder us. The, and of course, you can only use the, use the Winter Wonderland weapons and snowballs. And I'm trying to see if I can use the the skills as a my, my jellyfish. It was for that me having a jellyfish, Not because I feel like uh, it's really peckish. Um, normally I would uh, show the entire thing, but like like the from like the like the like the, most of the other ev events, I'm going to show you this one event, and we'll move on to the next event. <laughs> Now with the Crampiri over, we'll be moving on to the con Conduct. Now the con Conduct is a, is a is in a totally separate area to uh, ev to everywhere to most of the other areas. I mean, it's a good distance away from uh, from the uh, main area or the lake area and pagoda area. It's actually through this. This gingerbread place, gingerbread gate, and you can see here, oh, Nilix and the and the Brini is uh, over there, which is to, if you look at the map, <laughs> and you can see this is a gingerbread town, and all places to defend this, Cousin Cut is is all about defending this town. Currently, there's a syrup meter and a Snow meter, which is basically a part is what we're going to need to fill up in a little while. The they'll to fill up the uh, the mob. You need to pick up a pile of ice from either defeated snowmen or to scrape it off the off some of the walls. And also, you to get the syrup, you need to basically. Uh, Basically, shoot the uh, face of the uh, those jelly buttons. Let's make sure I've got everything equipped. And uh, and doing a few 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 duty officer stuff. Yeah, 
this is because I said it's a minute to go, so the company I'm just waiting to see, see who is, is going to be around here. But I'm not noticing many players at the moment, but that's because they haven't arrived yet. But yes, if you want, you could do a. Happy holidays! Q has charged me to discover new foods, combine spices in strange new ways, and to boldly bake what no one has baked before. If you bring me a recipe from the Winter Invasion, I'll send you to save the gingerbread men. Happy holidays! Q has graciously scattered the necessary ingredients all throughout the Winter Wonderland. You'll never know what you find. Happy holidays! Now, the, it, Neelix is, uh, is talking about one the the new the seasonal queue, and the painting green here is got would let you enter the paint contest, which is just slot just over here, and uh, with the cation and the click on there. The I'm not going to enter at the moment, but that's a decent decent way to get, uh, get some free free stuff. But it's like uh, we're about to start the code of conduct, so I can talk us through it, the real thing. <laughs> and here we go. Help! The snowmen aren't taking too kindly to our building a village in their territory, and they're planning an attack. I'm just taking advantage of uh, of uh, no one here yet, so. Just waiting for the yeah, uh, yeah. Someone else is here already, so we're going to because it's actually not started yet. It's just going to meet to uh, talk about it. And that house in front of us has ice on it on this door, but it won't. Uh, we won't be able to pick it up for another ten seconds anyway. I didn't. I didn't actually catch it when I was recording this. We need to activate our village defender. We need to build a snow conian, collect ice and syrup, and deliver it to the town center. Yes, and uh, it's pitiful. And there's a another shaved ice. That's the shaved ice from the thing, and um, that's where you put the deposit the syrup. And you have about four minutes to, oops, uh, to, to build up your defenses, and I'll. And you can pick up a lot of ice if you're quite good at uh, clearing out the snow. No, ma'am. Now, quickly get out, get some syrup. Maybe. As these technically are items that drop into your inventory, so you do may need to clear the, clear them out. Uh, well, Clear it makes your inventory somewhat clear in moment when you enter the enter the Quinterwood land, but and yeah, I'm going to drop off a some, some syrup. Wait, wait. Now I'm going to jump ahead two minutes <laughs> so we can actually see the egg snow cut me in. Where the defense is actually in the second. And I'm looking in the chain for the chain for the second. Now, here's the defense. If you've activated them, basically, you've got to. The snow overlord is attacking! 
No, coming in back. I just passed her. Now, we still need to put stuff in there. In here, but the Overlord is also attacking and just one of Power Snowmen. He's on the other side of the face. There's the other one. Down. Well, you did it! You helped to defeat the Snow Overlord! Over. Thank you for your help. The villagers would like you to have this reward for saving our home. I've seen a lot of stuff here. Just say that one last too long, even though I'm picking it up. I can't split up the next time. You see this snowball lord is having a bit of a paddy at the moment. So And there's a snow conion and yes it does look like a cross between a snow cone and an iconium. Although I have been reading ahead. So that's I come know what an iconium looks like. But then we did, we have seen uh, one uh, a few months ago, but now I'm going to skip the upcoming races because you know, it's not part of the uh, dailies. But I'm going to do the whatever dailies is the snow 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 race. 
So, in no way, sh and I am got to say right now, I am a expert. I've uh, was the expert. I'm not an expert on how to tell you to do it. I've done it so, for so long and so much. I'm, I actually can do it in ha in half the time that most people need to to do. But the but the thing is. You do have the ability to redo them as many times as you like. Two, one. Go. And I use the uh, mouse as it puts some of a to drive drive it, and uh, I also tap the I should write keys here. But I learnt to take it fast and somewhat speedy. But I do also point out that this is a uh, you do you know the you actually get more grip on the outside as well so because on snow of the ice yeah, and don't be, be afraid to double tap your keys and convince the couch to go into a roll. Rolls will basically have a, almost kill your momentum or at least for, force your momentum into a certain direction. Which is very nice, and the yeah, I won't stop there. And you can see I'm leaving up, placing the guy's head uh, uh, face setter, and his uh, pet, which is, well, going as fast as he can make, make it. And I'm almost about to overtake it. And you is that pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty So we're gonna what's the next thing on the list is the competitive race and we'll skip it for skip it and be, put it a bit later. But remember, you always have to pick one of these up if you want to cash it in to use it. <laughs> Coming up next is the ice fishing, but well, we I think we need to do check in with the uh, fishing master to give us a quick guide into how to do the ice fishing. Over to you in the middle of the lake. The new year is upon us. Let us fish for honor and glory. I'll have the horn sound when the time for fishing has come. Be sure to be here when it's time to fish! Learn the traditional art of Klingon ice fishing. I will give you a fishing gauntlet to use, but you will need to equip it before you go fishing. When you are ready, go to the area I have marked for you. Once you are there, catch a fish and take it to the offering bowl. When it is time to fish, I will sound a great horn to let you know. The new year is up. Well, you can pick up a free fishing gauntlet here, and this will be the weakest of the free of the uh, free available. But now you've actually picked up the free one. The Klingon you can pick fishing up a gauntlet is in your inventory. Equip it there. As he said, pick, equip it there, and I've misspotted it. Uh, I actually, see, actually, is in a weapon, one of my weapon slot. Uh, see, and now I've realised I actually have it, and it's in my slot. So I. I prefer to have a, have a use a me keep uh, recommend having a ranged weapon and a mail and the fishing gauntlet on instead of the my melee or my sword or my fish sword in this case. But the idea is to punch the ice using the attack buttons and you caught one. Now take it over to the offering bowl. Remember, I will sound the horns when it is time to fish. The time to fish has come. Find honor or a good death. Kapla! 
I see the Klingons got their horns out now, so we'll go fishing. Now you have to aim for the don't stamp on the this this lighter patch and as you caught a huge fish. Yeah. Use your gauntlet to beat it into submission. Yep. Yeah. And there's two commands things you can do a light tap which puts it on the heavier float in. And if you're not careful you and that's the second largest fish you can pick up on. The larger the fish the harder it is to get take it back. <laughs> I've got medium now, and tricky is to another medium. <laughs> I mean, well, we are putting food in the, putting these gooey fish in the offering body because of the because <laughs> the sky coming up there. And ain't no large one for me. Hey. And so I'm such a surprise. I didn't find a uh, in a Extra large, which appears to be in the bowl, but and uh, this this uh, that one person has just picked up a tiddler. Yes, they come in four different sizes. Oh dear, I've got a tiddler, and that's a uh, big, enormous one coming to this what we will, but. And we're going to keep the this guy and we and believe not we can summon about two or three of these in one fishing session if we uh, good enough. And I've got a uh ice tote. Don't know. Yeah, you can see why I chose, chose a long range weapon with my uh, fishing gauntlet. This is because Gary Health is dropping quickly. And the guy's got him. Um, now it's time to start fishing again. And um, I think now is good. Good to, and I think we've covered all the all the events that get get to say uh, get us the closer to the getting the ship. Oh well, would do if it wasn't all recorded in one evening. So we need some other things we can. Pick up round here, and I'll cover those in a sec. We'll be in the competitive race. Competitive race is for all the Padoga on the and and it's up here on this platform at the top, where the start line is. And as you can see, it's quite quite curvy and a lot, and there's quite a few things in the middle of the track. And this is the start line, uh, and there's a similar place like at the other end. If you've seen the hoverboard races on the, in the Amiza, you'll 
you have a slightly good idea of what's happening here. Now this contains runs twice at, the, at this particular moment, but there's enough. The winners get tw get a tw twelve to tokens, which is enough to do to fill up the airport lady for two days running. The second place gets six, which gets which gives the airport lady a one one day's worth of tag. Three third gets you three get three tokens, which gives you half half the uh, tokens for a day, and two gets you uh, well anything below f anything below third gets you two tokens, which means you need to have complete three races to j join in. And of course, with any of these races, you've got to join in. And I should point out that the best way to win these is to not be in a crowded group. But this does not stop stop me from winning. I will say that the the the, the, the I'm doing it pretty hardly hard, but I'm also some of it self admitted a decent ice ice racer. You may want to just concentrate on getting two race, two two or three races done a day, so you can actually just get the to Ipo tokens later. And there is no much I can suggest to, to these other than slowly work, let yourself get faster. And because this ice race is available on air all the time, without even need to be in the race, you can run the track without needing to run the track with under race conditions although you will be lacking the EPO EPO pace marker and anyone, anyone else to fight against but you are put, but you've got to remember you can take the jump here and you'll be done pretty, pretty well and if you don't get careful you can get caught up on the some of these some this finger down the right, some of these ice ramps in over here. I don't know what ramps, but it was a be pretty hard to hit. You hit them. And I hit the flag, flag reasonably, reasonably well. And, and if you, and I do recommend Keep an eye out. If I, because I won the race, I can't see the second or third place flags are in the finish flag. But each of the flag, the finish flag actually finishes there. But each of the flags move around a bit. So if you do get, the, so you may, if you you may cross the line in second, but you are forced to with the last flag, with the finish flag. If you're not careful. But why are you going to need the Epo, Epo taxes? Because you can do a duty officer submission, which gives you, which will get you a random Epo. These Epos can be also be sold for Max, and I do recommend you to do these as much as you can. As you can see, just always keep an eye on the duty officer stuff, and always from Q stuff. If you want to Wonderland stuff, it's also available in Queer's Winter Wonderland. And as you can see here, there's a Navu race, but that's not going to be done for, for that. Well, I think about covering one final thing. This is the. Uh, that I'm thinking of covering the stuff we need to pick out from these. Uh, this stop uh, as a later de date. <laughs> So until then, I've it's been Max Shot Writer. See you guys later.